What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another Amazon video. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you a breakdown of my products on Amazon for what the costs were. So, let's get right into this. So somebody actually recommended me doing this video, a full breakdown of the products that I sell on Amazon. So I wanted to do this video mentioning everything from what I purchased the products for, what they sell on Amazon for, the Amazon fees that Amazon charges me per item that is sold, and also my net profit in total and per item sold. So I wanted to do this breakdown of all of the numbers basically for my products that I sell on Amazon to give you guys a more in-depth look if you guys are considering doing Amazon FBA yourself. Some products are worth it, some products are not, but it is a little bit of a grind. I also am going to be doing another video very soon, so stay tuned for that, and that is me sharing different methods to get products to sell on Amazon, so stay tuned for that. That one should be out in a couple weeks as well, I hope. So today, just a breakdown of the products that I sell. So up first is the Mastercraft Folding Knives, which I believe I mentioned in previous Amazon videos. I purchased these at Canadian Tire. They were on sale for $4, so I bought them at $4 each, and they sell on Amazon for $14.98 each. Whenever I purchased these items, they were selling on Amazon for $20 each, but they dropped down to the $15 mark. So right now I sell them for $14.98 on Amazon, and I have been selling quite a few of them. Now the Amazon fees for this product, for some strange reason, is $7.73 per item, meaning for every item sold, it gets sold for $14.98, but you have to pay an Amazon fee of $7.73 so at the end of the day, the profit per item, when you take into account how much you paid for the item and the Amazon fees minus what you're selling them on Amazon for, at the end of the day, my profit per unit is $3.25. Now that does not sound like a lot, I know this, but I didn't just purchase one knife, I actually purchased 20. So with 20 knives bought at $4 each with tax is a total of $90.40. And at the end of the day, when all of these knives do sell at $14.98, they're going to sell for a total of $145. Now that is not my net profit. What we have to do now is take the $145 of what it is going to sell on for Amazon. The $145, that is... I have already went and taken off the Amazon fees. So that is the total amount that I will receive from Amazon for selling all of these knives. Now you will take that 145 and you'll minus $90.40 because that's what it costs you to acquire these items. And that's going to leave me with a total of $54.60 profit for all 20 knives once they all sell. So again, that doesn't seem like much profit, but for me right now, it is more of a learning experience. I'm trying to learn more of what products work, what products I should be sending into Amazon, and what products are selling faster. These knives, especially during COVID-19, are selling very slow as of right now, but they are starting to pick up sales, and hopefully I will sell out soon. I'll see what I get for them on profit wise and see what they come on sale for at Canadian Tire in the future. Maybe I'll buy a few more, but it's not going to be my main product that I'm going to be focusing on for getting them and sending them into Amazon just to get sales here and there to kind of get some extra money in. That's ideal, but these are not going to be my main source of income for a product on my Amazon. They're just not that worth it right now. Another product that I have been selling and actually sold out on Amazon is the Bluetooth speakers that I was selling. I think I shared these in a video as well and I showed you guys them. Now I bought them originally for $20 each and that seems like more money than I wanted to spend to acquire an item, but at the end of the day, it turned out to be worth it. They sold on Amazon for $50 each. And the best thing about these Bluetooth speakers for me, I was the only person on Amazon selling them. There was somebody selling a used pair for about $65. I'm selling brand new for $50. So I sold out mine fairly quick. Now Amazon for these items charge a fee as well. 
but the fee for these Bluetooth speakers was only $10 compared to the knives, which the knives were selling for $14.98. They had a fee of $7.73. These Bluetooth speakers are selling for $50 and they have an Amazon fee of, fee of $10. So I don't understand quite how Amazon uh, calculates these Amazon fees for products. I definitely want to look into that to share that info with you. And also so I know myself to see what products are worth it. If I know how they calculate the fees, I'll know ahead of time, but their Amazon fees for the Bluetooth speakers were $10 each, resulting in a total profit per unit at $20, which I thought was awesome. Now again, I did not just purchase one of these Bluetooth speakers. I ended up purchasing three total speakers. I ended up purchasing them all. They're discontinued at Canadian Tire. They're discontinued at a lot of places, but I found a supplier online and I'll mention that in a couple minutes. Now with buying three of these Bluetooth speakers with tax, it cost me $67.80. After they all sold on Amazon, of course, minusing the Amazon fee already, I got a total of $120. But again, that is not my net profit for this product. And what I have to do, of course, is take the $120 that I received for selling these items minus what I paid for the items, which is $67.80. That leaves me with a total of $52 profit for selling only three Bluetooth speakers. Now, in my opinion, I think the Bluetooth speakers did better. Uh, profit wise, I only purchased three and to get $52 profit for three items. That to me is pretty impressive. I actually am proud that I was able to accomplish that as opposed to the 20 knives, which seen about $54 and 60 cents profits for 20 products for 20 units compared to three units for $52. I think the Bluetooth speakers are a better route for me in the future. I am not sold out on the knives right now. I only have 10 sold as of right now, but they're still getting sold very quickly right now. So I hope to sell them hopefully soon and sell out on them. Now I do have one more product on my Amazon right now, and that is the dash cam that I purchased around the same time I purchased the Bluetooth speakers. Now this dash cam I purchased for $50, which is more than I should have. I know this now because Nobody is selling it on Amazon. I'm the only one. And of course, there's other dash cams out there. So nobody is really looking into this product. I was originally purchasing or selling it for $150. And I've slowly been reducing it and reducing it, reducing it. Right now, I have it on for less than $100. And I'm probably going to reduce it a little bit more. And I hope to at least break even on this product. That's my end of the day goal with this product, just to get it sold, just to break even. And I know now bigger, more expensive technology is not for me. It's kind of hit or miss. And I know these Bluetooth speakers, as I mentioned already, are sold out most places, but I found an online supplier. So I hope to work out a deal and order quite a few of these from him, send them into Amazon and hopefully start seeing profit. I'll probably put them back on Amazon for $50 each. They're a really good Bluetooth speaker. I looked at the ratings before I purchased them and the reviews. Everybody seemed to love them. The only reason they got discontinued is because the company decided to make a new version of the Bluetooth speaker and they're not producing them anymore. So this company that has some old stock of the Bluetooth speaker, I'm hoping to go and purchase them, except instead of paying $20 per unit, I'm gonna have to pay $25 per unit. On the website, it says free shipping to me. So hopefully I get out a deal. I can get hopefully 10 plus units, send them into Amazon and start getting a little bit of profit for them. That is my goal right now. But the only other thing that I did not mention with you guys with the fees and what things cost for Amazon is number one, Amazon does have, if you are with Amazon FBA, if you're using the Amazon app at all, I think it's the Seller Central, if it, that's what it's called on the app and online, if you're on desktop or laptop using it. You have to pay a monthly fee of $30, which is a lot. And if you're not selling items, it adds up fairly quick. So you always want to look and try to acquire and get more products to Amazon. So trying to help you sell more products so then you can pay these fees and then hopefully at the end of the day, turn a profit. That's your end of the day goal because the monthly fees are $30 a month plus 
You also have to take into account every item sold. Amazon is getting a fee for as well. And you also have to pay for shipping to Amazon, which I did not mention yet. Shipping to Amazon, I believe for us, only cost $30. And that was shipping with UPS. They actually came to my house, picked up the box, the package, sent it into uh, Amazon, and it was delivered within two weeks. Of course, it had to get processed through Amazon. Now, our products, we ended up paying them, I think it's... 25 cents or 20 cents per item to have them label it we didn't want to do that ourselves we don't know how we're what we're doing with that yet we haven't learned that so we didn't want to screw it up with our first shipments we had amazon do it so in total for all of our products i think it was around five dollars we had to pay amazon to do that and the shipping because we did it straight through amazon whenever we're Putting in an order shipping to Amazon, you can put in and saying you want UPS to do it. If UPS does it with Amazon, there is a huge discount. If we went to UPS and said we have this box to ship, it would have cost us $60. Through Amazon going through the shipments, it was $30. So you get a discount doing that. So I just wanted to mention that just so you know ahead of time, if you think of using a different courier, look on Amazon, see what Amazon offers and what discount certain carriers are with Amazon. You might get a discount as well, but you will have to pay for that. For your shipping your products to Amazon, you have to, of course, pay for your products to acquire them to be able to sell on Amazon. You have to pay Amazon monthly fees, and every time a product sells, you have to pay Amazon a fee for that product. So Amazon is making quite a bit of money off of you. You have to remember that. So in my opinion, whenever you're selling on Amazon, Amazon FBA especially, you always want to look for products that not only are going to give you a little bit more profit with the fees and so you can pay off the fees, but ones that are going to sell quickly for your Amazon store. So I hope this has helped anybody who is thinking about Amazon FBA or has already been doing it to try to understand the breakdown cost for your products. Just because you are getting $120 from Amazon when all of your products sell, for example, my Bluetooth speakers, I got $120. That does not mean that is your profit. And that's a big mistake a lot of people do. They don't take into account how much they paid to acquire the product. So at the end of the day, they think they had a $120 profit when realistically they only had $52 profit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this video here. Expect to see another Amazon video very soon. Me sharing different methods for you to purchase products to be able to sell on Amazon. Everything from retail arbitrage to online arbitrage and also Alibaba. I'm going to be mentioning it all in that video. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.